my teacher and let me walk the system will ask you for your username password and all that it's correct um putting in my stuff Please do not enter anything because you don't okay. have the username so far. Okay. You're supposed, supposed to be on this page, page right now. Yes, sir. We are there. I'm there. Remember, Remember, you are, are must be on, on your phone, phone your, your smartphone. Smartphone. Are you there, sir? Yes, sir. At this moment, please, there is a, a gray button after login with Google. It is saying, or oh, sign up with access code. Okay. Are you seeing that? Yes, sir. Yeah, please sign up, uh, click sign up with access code. Okay. Okay, so, so which code must be put in there? Now uh, I'm gonna type in the code and you're gonna get it, okay? Okay, whenever. So you don't have a code, uh, the code was sent to you. However, you type in, which course are you doing right now? We have three courses. Aziwe, let us try to work through with Aziwe. Aziwe, which course have you finished? Uh, facilitator. you finished facilitator. So you're gonna be doing assessment, right? Uh, I did the assessment. So you are doing facilitator right now. Oh, okay. Perfect. So Chris, we're going to also start with facilitation that we can be on the same page with uh, Aziwe. Okay. Yeah, that is fine, sir, because I'm also um, still budget with facilitator. Perfect. All right. So your code for facilitator it will be PK. That one. Okay. You enter it into your onto your access code link and then click sign up. You click sign up. Remember, this is where you need to sign up onto the course. Now, I'm very pretty sure you have already uh, signed up uh, for the course. course. All right. Sorry, sir. I know that you've already signed up for the course. Okay. Okay. Isn't it? You have already signed up for this course onto the portal. Yes, sir. Sir, can you please give me the code again, please? 
You want to get the code? Yeah, can you please give it again, please? Okay. Is PK double V? Okay, yes. just give me, let me. Uh, PK double V, slide on RR, PJ, okay. Uh, okay. PJ. Okay, you can continue, sir. Perfect. So, like I said, you click sign up and then the system will take you through to the enrollment page. Now, if you already done this, we don't need to repeat it. I'm doing it as a repetition for those that have not yet signed onto the platform. Okay. That's the quickest okay. way to access. So, if you've done this, you don't need to repeat the same process. So what I propose that if you already got your username and, and password, okay, you just need to log in directly on this portal, your username and password, if you remember. On your smartphone, you should be able to sign in. If you have not yet uh, got a username and password, then it means you need to go to this part of sign up with an access code. Then you enter the access code and then you click sign up. When you click sign up, the system will take you through to the page where you need to include or to add your information, your name, your last name, your login details should be created. This is where you create your own username. The user ID, you can pick up your ID number and then create a password repeat the password or confirm the password enter your date of birth enter your contact details your email address a lot of people don't enter the email address and the phone numbers we will not be able to send you communications if we don't get the email because all our communications are synchronized as well onto your email and uh, sms's through your phone so please include that information when you finish you click submit uh but for the fact that uh if you have registered already uh, you just need to sign up here with your user id okay with your okay. user ID, you just enter your user id and then we can you can be able to log in right you can be able to log in and then automatically the system will take you to your login uh, welcome page or your dashboard. Now I'm going to navigate through onto the main uh, page or the dashboard, which allows you to interact onto the portal and send in different communications or receive or retrieve information that you're looking for. Okay. So Please let me know if you have logged into the portal right now. And um, remember, this is for smartphones. Please, uh, I'm emphasizing on this. If you're using a smartphone, just do this quickly because if you are not familiar with the smartphone app, you won't be able to send in a quick communication, a quick note, uh, upload your evidence. Remember also that specific evidences where you need, like in facilitation, you need to take photos or videos or record your sessions. You know, of course, by getting permission from your, 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 your target group or your class or your audience, you need to record. So whatever you record, it becomes easy for you to upload it onto the portal, right? Using the smartphone. Okay, I'm gonna pause there for a sec and I'll be joining you now.
Okay, we proceed. Uh, right now, we're going to be looking at two other aspects, right? Uh, the first one is on to how to integrate uh, through the learning portal. Number two, on how to make a submission. I think those are the most key, most key important things. When people have been told when uh, to submit, they have no idea on how to submit. Okay, please, I just want you to log in. Uh, we have a network delay here or a problem. Okay, we have a network problem. Uh, so I'm going to try to ask uh, one of our network people to see if we can connect to another network. But our network is quite, it's quite slow because of load shading. Right, so a lot of people find it difficult to make a submission. So we're gonna try to uh, allow you to enter into that portal and make a submission, you know, a generic submission. Uh, I'm going to also log into using my computer because I see the smartphone is hanging. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing here on this page and then the issue is now on to submission. We're gonna go to the part of submission, but running through into some of the activities that one needs to be doing. Okay. I'm going to log in as one of the students here. I can see, Chris, you are online. Are you online? I'm going to log in yes, sir. as Chris here so that we can be able to get an understanding directly. Are you able to see what I'm sharing, guys? Yes, sir. Please. Now, Chris, this should be your home page, okay? This is supposed to be your home page or your welcome page. Are we together? Okay. Under your home page, we said we are going to be doing facilitation, right? Yeah. Yes. Going to do facilitation. Yes, sir. Uh, under facilitation, that's what you see. That's what you see, but I want us to be on top. When you log into facilitation, it's supposed to take you through the facilitation learning program. That's what you're supposed to be seeing. What you are seeing here under facilitation, in fact, let me go back to the beginning. Uh, let me go back to the beginning of it, the beginning of the course. Okay, this is where you're supposed to be beginning the course from, okay? Uh, as you wait, are you here? Sarazen? Are you here? Are you still here? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yes. All right, so we are here. 
remember this is your interface okay i want you to get this clearly the system automatically picks up your progress as you navigate through into the learning program step by step okay so whenever you come yeah. to the system it will pick up your progress you can see this part which is saying resume 40 percent like it means this uh, student has been navigating through whenever you navigate the system picks up your progress on how you are capturing information and how you are navigating through the information it is under this first dialogue or this first interface under lessons we are under lessons now the second part of the tab that i want you to understand is this part written news okay i'm moving my cursor here for that you can uh, sir, sorry yes sir uh sir sorry are you are you in my account now i'm in your account sir okay okay thank you sir yes i'm in your account so the next part here is news the tab of news this news allows you to know what is being published so please make sure you always now and then go in and see what has been published okay make sure you go in and publish so you can okay. see already there was a, an introduction record on the 15th of july right you're supposed to have viewed this because it's an interface that allows you to know how the portal works okay if we post anything you will see this post uh being uh, uh featured here under news and then the other uh, tab here is called the calendar the calendar gives you the times and the dates when there's a class that's going to happen uh, Chris, you were asking me mostly uh, what is happening, when is my next class, okay? You need to come to your calendar, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. You need to come to your calendar. Then you'll be able to know that this is how your class is going to run. Like now, you have you started, let's say you started today, the 22nd, on facilitation. It means your next class on facilitation is going to run uh on wednesday you get it yes sir i'm following i'm with yeah, you it your next class is going to run on wednesday and then you must check also on the times and uh, when you put your cursor onto this it shows you the time when is the time are you going to be in class like today we are here and the class is supposed to run from 10 a.m okay uh when i was communicating to you i think i had told you nine but i i then i guess that it was supposed to start at 10 a.m so you can see that there is time here and the when you click on this calendar automatically it will give you a link though today we had to change the link because this uh provided link was not allowing us to go through because of network so i had to provide you with another link so please make sure you check always our links go through and they work so a lot of people connect with the wrong link because they don't know how to access the correct link to use to connect to the class so make sure you go onto your calendar the calendar will give you exactly when is the next class and what time will be the class and how to connect because somebody some some people will be asking okay how do i connect i see we have a class on wednesday next week how do we connect you click onto the the class when you click onto that class on the, on that date it will give you a link where you just click on that link automatically this link will take you to the classroom where you need to attend that class it will be an uh, an interactive live class that's the that's the best way of how i can demonstrate that part but please make sure you follow the calendar i always emphasize this follow your calendar the calendar tells it all okay all right so the next part all right the next part is when we look at the the classes itself uh, or the content that is being put onto the system on the system 
we have already integrated the entire learning material based on the modules that are supposed to be covered. Like you can see, this course facilitator training, it has got mainly three specific outcomes, okay? Mainly three specific outcomes. And the outcomes have been broken down. Each outcome has got its own content. You are free to read from the online uh, platform. You can read the entire manual or the entire notes and get through it on the manual by clicking on the introductory part. Let's say you click on this first part. It will take you through to the course. To move, to navigate from one to another, you click continue here. This button here. Guys, I think you are following. You click continue to move from one page to another. Okay? That's how you navigate. From one page to another. From one page to another. As soon as you go through the entire pages, the system will take you to the last part where you need to start with your assignment. It means that you must have read the notes. You must have gone through the notes and, 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 and get that... Uh, the information that is required of you to complete the assessment. That is when you are doing your own self-study. However, you can also uh, follow with the, with the live session. The live session, when they are running, we are able to give you the information through a presentation, and then you can just rather go in after understanding and read on your own and start to do the assignments. You can see that when you reach to the last part of activity one, uh, after continuing, the system will ask you uh, to complete activity one. So you cannot move. It will be locked from there. You cannot move uh, before, before you complete this activity, right? It asks you what is this African qualification authority? What is SAKWA? So you need to know what is it. Okay? You need to know what is it. So for you to continue, you need to have completed it. If you don't complete it, there's no way you can continue. Okay, so so from so from then eh, where you are now. Um I already submitted activity that one. What is the South African Qualification Authority? I submitted under under portfolio. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Okay, may you please repeat that question again? Sir, I would like to know um, if I if I submit uh, that activity the right way. Um, I do it myself. I type it in everything, and I submit it under portfolio. Thank you so much. You have answered the question. Yes, you you can come. There are two ways. I'm going to show you how to submit. Okay. Number one. Okay, thank you. There are some activities that are done online that you just need to type in the answer into the spaces provided. Well, as there are other activities that you can do the work separately, scan it and upload it. Now to upload it, there's also two spaces. You can upload it directly to the portfolio onto the portal, or you can upload it uh, using the upload uh, method where there's a space to attach a file, okay? So I'll also, I'm going to also show you that. But you can see that this activity now becomes locked. It means you cannot proceed from one end to another because it's not complete. Only when you complete it, and this one doesn't allow you to upload. This one, you need to upload it, I mean, to complete it yourself. Okay? This one, you need to complete okay. it yourself. To complete it, you just click... Uh, you just click see discussion and then under see discussion here, you need to submit your own. You click here and add a post, you post it yourself. So it's like a group discussion. This one allows you to discuss it by yourself by typing your answer here. South African Qualification Authority, right? Okay, is 
blah, 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 blah. Then you answer, your, you put your answer. Once your answer is done, you click send. Okay? Okay. When your answer is done, you click send. Automatically, you will see, as soon as you type in your own, you will see other discussions from other people. <laughs> okay? That's when you will see other class oh. members that are also part of the discussion and they're able to give their own overview. You get what I'm saying? You can see we've got quite a number of discussions uh, of people that are busy answering this and you can navigate as well. Once you've answered that, the system is still locked for you. You cannot continue. You know why? Because the facilitator will need to answer or to grade it. Okay? The facilitator will need to grade your answer. Look at your discussion and grade it. So, only when it is graded, then the system will be unlocked. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so, um, yes. Yes, sir. So how long does it take, sir? Um, uh, uh, sorry, sir? Uh, you can see here underscore, it says waiting for grading. Okay? Look at this part. Say waiting okay. for grading. It means uh, the, uh, this assignment has, uh, has a completion requirement and must score at least two percent. You must score at least something. So here, once we grade it, you will be able to see uh, that uh, this uh, icon here, right, continue. It is unblocked. Then you can move to the next uh, session. You see that? Now, there's another part under assignments now i'm gonna leave that part i'm gonna go to the second part here under assignments assignments give you the entire list of assignments that needs to be done all these assignments but like i said you can only move assignments based on to what has been completed the activities are moved or are given based on to your completion you complete one you get it you complete the second one you get to the third one like that okay you are also uh, able you are also able to download the entire resource you can also be able to download the entire resource when you download the entire resource here under resources you will be able to download the the required documents for you you click on resources you'll find a folder and then you download the material. This is your material. We have what is called the resource guide. This is for extensive reading. If you want to read privately, you can download this and print it out. We have also the POE. This is the portfolio of evidence. The portfolio of evidence allows you to submit the required documentation. I'll explain that when you get when we get to portfolio phase in the next class. And then we have the learner guide. The learner guide is for you to read uh, through self-study. Okay? Through self-study. So I have just finished to do an example of the grading, sir. Okay? And I'm going to take you quickly back. You can see you have just got a notification here to say something has happened to your portal. All right? And what is it here? there is a grading that has just happened. So you've been graded. So if you've been graded, you are able to see your, you are able to see that you can move from one, uh, one activity, from activity one to the following activity. At least you are able to navigate. You can see that if it was graded, then the pages open up for you to continue okay the pages open for you to continue to read onto the uh, different uh, assignments that are given to you like you can see this one has been graded already and you can see the grade score here i've just put this one temporarily sir because you're gonna have to answer it okay 
<laughs> All right. Are we together, uh, Mr. Chris? Yes, sir. Yeah, so yes, I'm going to reverse these marks. Ne? I'm going to reverse these marks. You will have to answer. So I used your uh, profile for better understanding of the rest. So please, when you see that you've been uh, graded, it means you can see that there's continuation button here is allowing you to continue okay. the other activities. You know, you can be able to move now to the next part. And this allows you to take up a quiz. Activity number two is said, take a quiz. This one is a timed quiz that you need to answer it or within 60, uh, within 60 minutes. So you need to have read the notes before you can even answer these questions. I have seen a lot of people who just rush to answer uh, the, uh, the activities or the assignments without understanding the content. If you don't understand the content, you will come here and when you try to take the quiz, the quiz is time. You will get to a question and you can't answer that question and then it will take you back, right? You will fail. And remember, we only have two fails Yeah, You fail the first part, uh, we allow you to repeat or to do a reassessment. The second part, you fail, then you have failed the module. You have failed that part, literally. So you only have two chances to do it right. So I emphasize okay. uh, to read the content before you attempt to answer questions. Read the content. If you're unable to read online, download the content uh, through resources here and get the learner guide and read it extensively so that you can be able to understand the question or engage with the facilitator, the teacher, like here. The next part is the teachers here. To engage with the teacher, if you're finding difficulties, you can click on teachers, you find me, I'm allocated as your teacher here, and then you can send me a message Okay, you can send a message directly using this link. Okay, message link. You can click here and send a message. You can type in and send me a message, sir, I need support. Let's say you type in your message. It must have a subject. What is your reason of contacting? Let's say support uh, on activities. Okay. Then you type in your reason, please give me support, or I need extra support, or I need a one on one support, or I need to call you, or I need an appointment. Some of you just wake up in the morning and call the facilitator, like myself. They call, krr, krr, hey, Mr. Yusuf, I need this and this and that. But you, you know, you, you didn't make an appointment. So you find that I'm engaged in a class or I'm not available. And then when they try to call two times, three times, they, they, the frustration build up. So, ah, this online thing, ah, it's a problem. They have been scammed. <laughs> we we get a lot of those things. Ah, I've been scammed. My man has gone. Yo, what I'm gonna do? So it's a, an in, indication that you have not gone through the system properly and you need support. So please send in your message. Whatever you send in your message here, you type it here. And then when you finish to type that message, please click send. You click send, and then the message will be sent. The message will be sent. And you will see a notification up there to say message sent. You get what I'm saying? Message sent. Okay. That's the quickest way on how you can send a notification or a communication to the facilitator. Because remember, once you are on the portal, it's no more the administrative part. It's now between you and the facilitator allocated to your course. Who can be able to guide you and support you? And this is a good, good part that because I'm running uh, as a facilitator uh, onto a facilitation assess and assessment. However, somebody else is doing moderations, right? I only do moderations for individuals that are taking up SDF course, the school development facilitator. So uh, it's a combination, uh, but you can see that I'm still your facilitator in assessment and a facilitator in, in uh, the facilitator course. So you can engage me through this portal, right? If you send a WhatsApp, so if you send WhatsApp, WhatsApp is used for 
administrative part, then I won't be able to interact sometimes when, let's say, if I'm in class, somebody else will start to talk to you and you, you they will be asking you other questions that you have no idea. You're already a student in class, so you don't need to go back to the WhatsApp. You can just send a message right here and then we will be able to engage you immediately because remember, I'm also uh, being interacted onto the portal, so I'm part of the portal. My smartphone, as you saw in the introductory part, is also being synchronized onto the portal that I can receive even if I'm not in or on campus, I can still receive notification and messages from the students that I'm busy with. You get so that is a, another part that I wanted to e emphasize on to how to reach out where you find challenges. Uh, you do not cry on to. Uh, WhatsApp messages, please do not, because when you are already registered as a student, you don't need to go back to WhatsApp. WhatsApp is for registration purposes, admission, and all that. When you're done with that, you just need to communicate directly here. There are two ways. Either you send a message or you send an email, okay, for any information. Unless there is some agency, and if there is any agency, Remember, we have got our emergency contact numbers of, of 081-731-732-0954. That is our emergency number, right? You can now not call the WhatsApp number to get somebody to assist. If you have an emergency, academic emergency, or you are unable to attend the class and you are unable to access the portal. The portal is because we have also issues where the portal does not, or it is offline, maybe because of network on your side or on our side, and the portal is offline. Then you can call us directly uh, on 081-732-0954. That we can be able to assist you immediately because we know it's an emergency. Uh, then also, please, guys, if you are one person, online learning is so challenging. You get what I'm saying? And it needs full commitment. And a lot of people take this for granted. Why? Because if you feel like it's online, I can take, you can do it at your own pace. No. Our online is timed. It has got a season or a time where you're supposed to submit. I mean, the time of learning, a time of submitting, and the time where you need to get your results. Because we don't want to keep people in the portal or in the system and you stay here for a whole year. We want you to complete the course as soon as possible, get your results, get your certificates to move on to another program if you have to, or advance your career onto another course that we might be running. So do not stay into the system, okay? I emphasize, do not stay. And if you are going to learn, when you are learning, if it's time for learning, guys, please, if it's time for learning and you're supposed to be learning, make it serious as if you're gonna prepare yourself to come to class, a normal physical class. I don't wanna see people when we run a video class and a round class and someone is busy uh sleeping and they are holding their smartphone that is not learning that is like watching a movie <laughs> uh let me put it okay guys i think on my side i'm using a smartphone also uh as at the same time i'm using my computer and the other gadgets so to connect to you as a class but you can see i'm in a learning environment okay uh, you can see I'm in a learning environment and I have been uh, assigned to be in a learning environment. You can see, guys, this is who I am. Please, you can see that I'm in the library right now and I'm learning and I'm having the class. This library is for the institute. I'm at the institute library and I'm learning with you. So it means I got prepared. You get what I'm saying? It means I got prepared. What does it mean? It means that same to you, you need to prepare yourself. You get what I'm saying? You need to prepare yourself for learning because the only way you're going to benefit successfully if you, your mind is prepared for a class. 
if we are going to learn about facilitation, we shall see in our next session or in the running se uh, sessions. That is, uh, we're going to make a schedule here. We're going to agree to have an, uh, another schedule maybe on Monday so that we don't need to waste a lot of time for the next class uh, on the 26th. We can have it next week, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, then you will be able to catch up on Wednesday. So, but that's going to be an agreement between myself and you. But like I say, preparation on for a class is vital. Get yourself the material, get yourself the notes, writing notebook, notepad, your computer, your laptop, let them be ready. Sit on a table uh, in, in, in an enclosed place where there is no disturbance, no noise, and then learn. Then you'll be concentrated. This becomes easy for you to understand. It becomes easy for you to ask questions because your mind is focused. But if you are going to just uh, lie on your bed and hold your smartphone uh, and say, uh, hello, mm. you, you, there's no way learning is going to sink. All right? There's no way learning is going to sink simply because your mind is not settled to be in class. I, I want to emphasize this. Online learning is so challenging because people take it for granted. And at the end of the day, you do not successfully achieve the required competency or you do not uh, uh, come out of the class because you have not uh, put your mind into getting this. Okay. So please make sure that you learn. The next part that I'm trying to show you here is that if you are learning, if you are learning, uh, the next part if I'm trying to show you here is if you are learning, try to invite other learning learners to be part of your group, okay? Invite group members. Like now, uh, you guys are Z-Way and Chris, you are together. You say, yes, you are in this class. You can say, guys, can we have our own private session? Invite one another. Enter onto the portal. When you enter onto the portal, you'll be able to see who's the next class or a next learner who is uh, on the same system. Like here, you'll see a green button. The green button here indicates that uh, student A or student B are live and they are in class. You see this? All right. So we can see that you guys, you are in class here. So it means I can invite you or you can invite each other to discuss a session or to discuss a topic. So try to create friends. The reason why we have this platform is not only for us to, to, to access normal, but also to network one another. All these people that you see here, they are doing the same class. They are in the same class like you. All of them, all these people that you see here. These are your classmates, okay? They are in the same similar class like yourself. So you can connect, connect yourself to these people. There are, some of them are doing an advanced program. Let's say uh, they are doing a, an advanced program in assessment or in facilitation. They are higher than what you have. They can be able to guide you already what they have achieved and say, oh, this is where we are. This is how far we have gone. Then compilation of, of, of documents and, and doing facilitation, you can also run it on the group. Uh, there are some people that were asking me, sir, how do I facilitate to a group? But you have a group of classmates. And one of the activities to create and uh, network and communicate. But you cannot even go to your classmates and communicate and link. But people can search each other on Facebook. You can look for, scroll through WhatsApp and look at all those people's statuses. You know, some of them, they don't even talk to you. But you check their statuses and you scroll, right? Well, as you can literally use that time to connect and link up. This is networking. Some of them are owning schools. Some of them are principals of schools. Some of them are directors of companies. They are here. And you never know whom you might connect with as your classmate on a portal. This small platform you see, it might lead you to a bigger success breakthrough. You get what I'm saying? So please connect. Do not see. This is a platform designed for you for learning purposes. Do, 
it's better than Facebook where people just go and connect and just read and necessary content. This is good content because it allows you to grow and develop in the, you know, in, 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 in your career. So please connect. These are the students that are into your class. You can check, let's say I connect with Aziwe and then I can send Aziwe a message directly, you know? I can connect and send him. You can see that I can send a message to Aziwe. Right? Last mate. I'm going to test with Aziwe if he has received any notification. Aziwe, at this moment, you're supposed to be receiving something, right? I've just sent in a communication right now uh, using the same system. You can see that on your side, you've got a notice uh, from Chris that, oh, there's a request or there's a message that has come yeah. through from Chris. You get what I'm saying? Have you got it? Yes, I did receive Thank you. You can see how easy it is. Then it means if the request for, for chatting, then you can just quickly run through to the chat part, this part of chatting. And then you start to chat. If you are live, then you can go in and connect and start to chat to one another on how you complete an interaction or an activity. You can create your own and then you can start to chat. You get what I'm saying? You can start to chat. There are so many other people here uh, that are connecting Aziwe, how long does this take? Hi, I'm here. All right, you see this? It is happening. Then it means you can chat to one another. All right? Aziwe, are you able to send in any chat here? Let us try to see. Sorry. Are you getting anything? interactions yes I, I did get the uh, yeah under facilitator interactions the message. yeah so you can send in you get what i'm saying you can start to communicate and send in this is where people get genuine communication genuine contact and then before you know you are creating a bond as two students learning towards to achieve one objective that's how we link all right, and then the last part is the portfolio. The last part is the portfolio. This portfolio allows you uh, to submit uh, to submit any information. You know what I'm saying? So when you see that the communications are coming in, if one has communicated, then we start to see all the links, the know the message start to pop in. That's how it works. Okay? That's how it works. Thank you, Aziwe. Thank you for that communication. Thank you. So, uh, under portfolio is where you submit everything, like your ID, CV, uh, certificates, all of them, you need to submit them here. As well as also submitting uh, other attachments, like you have done a research and you need to upload it, you just upload it here. You just come here to add, and then you add a, for a file. Okay? That's the other part that I wanted to emphasize on before the class commenced. So I'm going to schedule up uh, an emergency class for tonight, half past seven uh, to half past to nine o'clock, okay? Then we can be able to commence because right now the time is out. We're supposed to end this class at 11. Uh, time is out, but let us schedule another class which allows you to it allows us to connect again tonight so that we can start up with the 
with the classroom itself. Okay, are we together? Yes. Are you able to connect? Right. Yes. Uh, so I have a question, please, man. Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, we are not allowed for the present, so I don't want to be caught with the cell phone. So I think I will be able to attend this class tonight. Yes, we move the class tonight, okay? So we're going to add another class for tonight. We all agree that we're going to have a class tonight. Okay. We agree. Is it possible to make it earlier to be, uh, um, how long is the class? Two hours? One hour and a half. Okay, we can make it. Um... Can you make it from seven to eight or something like that, please? Because from eight o'clock, I will have visit man from management and all these people, if it's possible, sir. Uh, Aziwe, are you okay with it? Yes, I'm okay, but I want to ask something. You can just finish to... Please, go ahead, ask. Oh, okay, I just want to ask about my site. What is missing on my uh, submissions and all? Okay, please go ahead. Yes, I'm asking what is missing on my site? Okay, I'll check that privately, okay? After the class, then I'll right. give you feedback, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Yes, seven is fine, it's fine. Okay. So we are all set. Here is a class. Please go to your calendar and uh, click there to get the access code. See you at seven o'clock. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Arjuna. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye bye.